Ooh, there's one thing we learned from this film. Never piss off a stranger on the road. You just might unlock a monster. What's going on guys and welcome back to The Repster where movies and entertainment are our reputation. So Unhinged was directed by Derek Borte and stars Russell Crowe and tells the story of a woman who is targeted by an unstable man after a confrontation between the two at an intersection. Before I went in to see this movie, I've read a lot of critics' reviews, and a lot of them are comparing this to Falling Down, starring Michael Douglas. That came out back in 1993. I've only seen that movie once, but I remember thinking to myself, eh, it was okay. I'll see it again, just to be fair. But I do remember seeing it a long time ago, and I remember thinking to myself, eh, it was okay. It was fair. But like I said, I'll, I'll watch that film again just to compare but everybody's saying that everybody's liking that one more everybody favors that one more because of the tone and pace and the direction that that one took saying that compared to this film and unhinged russell crowe didn't really live up to michael douglas character in that film but i gotta be honest and here starts the positives of unhinged mm. russell crowe was the best thing of this film I think he played a really good villain. He was fantastic in it. I've seen a handful of his movies, and I've never really seen him play as an, an, an evil guy that he did in this film. This guy was just a straight-up nutcase. All you had to do is throw a penny in front of him, and he goes off the charts. And I'm not talking... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a freaking psychopath. And I mean psycho in every sense of the word. Not Norman Bates. He's more unstable than that. You don't want to mess with this guy. This film pretty much shows you that you really shouldn't treat a stranger like crap. That's what this woman did. She was kind of rude to him. And if there's one thing this movie has taught us, you should never piss off a stranger. And I mean this guy goes full-blown nuts. I don't think you know what a bad day is. But you're about to find out. And that's how he was. The movie started for me right then and there. I'll just say it. It started for me right then and there. The tenseness of that one line. And I thought it was wonderful for the story. Uh, you know, this woman, this single mother, with her kid, mind you, is being tormented in every possible way by this man. This man is unstoppable. He has nothing to lose, which makes him even more dangerous more unpredictable. He was just this unstoppable force, kind of like, and I know this is going to sound silly, but kind of like Michael Myers in a way, because you never knew what he was going to do. But this guy here, you knew he what he was going to do, but he was so unstable that you were trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with this guy. All you find out about him is that he lost his job, he was in a divorce, this and that, and as unstable as he was, all that stuff that happened to him, I think pretty much piled on to his craziness. But the story really did well for that in every sense. I mean, the, the story was just better for it. And like I said, never piss off a stranger. You just might unlock a monster. Just saying. And there's several uh, road raid aspects. When you watch the trailer, you knew that this was kind of a road rage film. The whole thing wasn't a road rage type of movie, but it did have its moments. It had car chases, it had car pileups, a bunch of cars flipping. So it did have it did have plenty of action in it. That was another plus for this film. And some may disagree with me, but I think that there was a horror aspect in this. And without giving too much away, this woman gets tormented so much by this man. This man goes after the ones that she loves. Now, again, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard not to you know, give too much away, but the way he does this, there's a horror aspect to this, and I'll just leave it at that. Me being a horror nutcase horror fan <laughs> made, it, made this movie all the more better for me, anyway. The film did have horror aspects to me with a, a little bit of a psychological drama, psychological, like it was a psychological slash horror film, to my viewership anyway. And I'll mention one scene without giving too much away, but he does give off a Michael Myers vibe, like I said before. 
there was one scene at a gas station where he kind of turns his eyes to this guy. You see murder in his eyes. You, you see a killer in his eyes. There's no other way to put it. And just like how Michael would always shift his eyes to a victim before he would kill him, that's, that's the vibe I got to, in that one, one particular scene anyway. And I rarely ever do this. Again, without giving too much away, without giving anything away, I cheered at the end of this film. I literally did my hands like this, like that. I didn't scream, but I cheered. I was like this uh, far away from actually jumping out of my wheelchair. Yeah, <laughs> that's how much of, in, of an impact, of, an, of a uh, final impact that this film had for me. And another thing about this film, this movie was filmed like a year ago. So, you know, it usually takes like a year for you to film it and like several months for you to film. Then you got to edit it and then uh, post-production, pre-production and all the other stuff that filmmakers I got, got to do. So it takes about a year for it to actually be released in theaters. And this film, it seemed like it foreshadowed everything. You know, this film was filmed before the George Floyd thing, before the pandemic. Minus the pandemic, it's like it was foreshadowing everything that's going on with the rioters, all the things that society is dealing with right now. As soon as the beginning credit starts, you get the sense of, wow. I mean, you look at this film, and it's exactly what's happening in society today. As sad as it is for society and real life, of course, this is art that we're, that we're talking about here, but as sad as this is for real life, I thought that was actually pretty, in, pretty interesting. It's like this whole movie foreshadowed what was going to happen, because uh, obviously this movie was filmed before all the stuff that you hear on the news now is happening. You know, so I thought that was pretty interesting. And let's move on to my mixed. Uh, there was a little bit of a tone and pace issue. And this is one thing that critics has kind of brought up about this film. That there was one moment in this film that did kind of slow down for me. But it picked up real fast, which is why I'm putting it in the mix. That and Karen Pistorius, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, that played Rachel, the main character, the woman that, that gets taunted by this guy. I thought she was great. She, she played a single mother, and she has her kid with her the whole time, which made the movie even more tense. But I kind of, I sort of wished, and I understand that, that she was in a really tough situation. This man was after her in all sorts of ways, and in a panic, you don't know what to do. Realistically, you don't know what to do. But in a way, I was thinking to myself, come on, girl, pull some Sarah Connor stuff. You know, I want you to go after this guy, which, without giving too much away, you know, that does kind of meet his, meet its aspect later, but, you know, that's all I'll say. But I kind of wish earlier on, a little earlier on in the film, that she would have pulled some Sarah Connor stuff and just gone after this guy, like, right away, especially after all the crap that he's put her through, especially, like, in the middle, like, midway of the film. But other than that, I think she did a really good job. I think... Her performance was good. She showed real great emotions in a situation that she's pretty much stuck in hell because of this guy. And her performance was pretty good. You know, don't get me wrong. I just wish she would have pulled some John McClane or Sarah Connor stuff, you know, a little earlier on. Because <laughs> I, you know, right there with her, I was feeling her rage. I was feeling her pain. This is one wild ride. And I mean that literally. If you want road rage, savageness, and psychological horror, this is definitely for you. It's Reptastic. So, Unhinged, have you seen it yet? What did you think of it? Did, you, did it grab you to the point of insanity? Did you like Russell Crowe's performance as a really, really unhinged character? Or do you prefer Michael Douglas' character in Falling Down? Leave me your comment down below and give me your thoughts. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and comment if you hadn't already. And I'll see you on the next one, whatever it may be. Peace and rip out. <laughs>